Okay, so I'm going to talk you through how I organise my props in my plan chest, which is an absolute lifesaver. Um, the amount of stuff you can get in there and the drawers are sh so shallow um, and deep that you can just see everything. It's amazing. I got it off eBay about two years ago for £315 and I managed to get it in the back of a Sephira. Pretty good. So... Um, my product is backdrops and most of my styling is around food photography, still life styling, ceramics companies. So all of my props, most of my props are tabletop, still life, foodie props. And pretty much all of them, I would say 90% of them live in here. Um, I've got them dotted around the house because as I said, I use things that I love and use every day. And then I've got some extra bits, uh, bigger bits for interiors, cushions, lamps, candlesticks, uh, throws, more plants, things like that. I always have a few bits out on top. So at the moment I've got some blossom. We're in springtime. Um, I've got uh, here some ceramics that I'm about to use. So I'll keep little bits on there that um, are currently inspiring me. Uh, the glass bottles are filled with water. I use those to prop card up. Um, and then you can see my backdrops that I can grab in the corner and lots of white cord and things with reflecting light. This is, we're at the one half of my lounge at the moment, this is where I shoot. Next to a huge patio window which I've had to pull the curtains on or you wouldn't be able to see me. Um, so yeah, it's where I shoot, it's fantastic storage and I will talk you through it. You can have a little nosy um, draw by draw. Hopefully the sound will be better on the next clips. Okay, so that's my plan chest. That's where 90% of my props are. To the left we've got uh, backdrops that have been mounted so they're solid or on card. Um, white card for reflecting light, black card. All my big A1 bits are on that side. Uh, I mentioned the glass bottles, handy for leaning things against because they're weighted with water and they'll let the light pass through normally. Some blocks of wood at the back again for propping things up and uh, yeah, just keeping things in place on set. Some inspiration at the back, foodie magazines and things. Stuff that's inspiring me at the moment, so we're in spring, always got my secateurs out. Uh, some big props that don't go in my drawers, but I do like to have because they're beautiful um, and I don't want to forget about them. That I, f I find that's the thing. If I don't see something and I'm not reminded it's there, I'll forget. So I don't put things away until I'm done with them. And actually, if I'm done with something, I tend to pass it on rather than put it somewhere else because that feels like dead space to me. These are my ceramics that you will have seen earlier. Um, these are the beautiful ceramics by Jenny Hops, J.H. Pottery. So these are out because I'm going to be using these soon. Um, let's start at the bottom and work our way up these drawers. So in drawer one I've got more backdrops that haven't been mounted so they're just the paper sheets. I've got smaller pieces of card that I use to reflect and block and bounce light around. Um, some extra bits that I have to buy a lot of so uh, down here we've got the pipettes, uh, a frog. This is uh, a Japanese flower arranging, Ikebana flower arranging uh, aid. So you stick the stems on there. Very good, but very, very spiky. That's why they're down here. Um, some pot tape. Gloves. Uh, ice cube tray. And that there at the back is a heat gun. Um, for browning food. I can't really shut that very easily with one drawer. Let's, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Next drawer up, I've got my larger, less used props, so any linens that I couldn't get in my main linen drawer. Big trays, baking trays, tablecloth, a couple of marble boards, some bits and bobs, more wooden boards. This isn't a well used drawer, this is kind of an extras drawer. Now this is a well used drawer. This is where I keep my ceramics and plates, dishes, most used boards, a few wooden props. Um, you'll notice I've got a lot of small dishes. Let's try and go a bit darker for you. Um, 
There's quite a few uh, pinch pots and things in there that are always handy. And then bigger bits at the back. So this is one of the most used drawers. This is the linen drawer. It's great because I can just lay everything out and see it all. We've got tablecloths and runners and placemats down on this side and then general uh, linens, napkin-y type things going across in colour. We've got some knitted textiles down here, a bit of sackcloth. Up at the back there's some vintagey bits and some sort of bolder patterns and brights that I wouldn't use a lot but sometimes a client might ask for something like that. This is the cutlery and utensils drawer. So these are sort of nice forks and spoons and we've got some box sets at the back which oh, need sorting out because they're not in there um, and then just all sorts of utensils and bits that we might need depending on what the recipe is or what story we're telling lots and lots that's been found and probably lost and found again hopefully over the years and then the top drawer, which is a bit of a mess to be honest. Um, this is going to take some sorting out. This is where I'll put um, all those little extra touches that just add another layer, another bit of texture, another element to give a bit more depth to the story. So when I find um, interesting things, they'll go in here. Also, sort of most used kit. So there's what's that? We've got cotton buds. Oh, nice ceramic spoon clips. Uh, pipettes, everything that you might just need to grab. These are all the uh, flavourings that I put in my gin. We went on a gin making day and I brought some extra bits home for styling it with. Oyster shells, garlic that's probably not very tasty anymore. Um, what's that? Oh, popcorn, coloured popcorn. Not very coloured when it's cooked, quite disappointing. Um, this. Oh, that's black salt that I found in Iceland. That's quite nice. Um, nuts, cotton, dried mushrooms, glasses, rulers, lovely long cinnamon sticks that you can get from florists. Um, pins, not crackers. What's that? Just all sorts of ingredients that add a finishing touch. Um, and if I find anything that I think a client might like and it's cheap enough, I'll just pop it in there. These were from uh, Starbucks. They're bigger than the usual ones, so they might come in handy. I know I can always get the usual size ones, but I might not see these again, so I'll grab those. And that's my prop collection. All of it, most of it, in there. Um, I might grab a big pan out of the kitchen or a deeper bowl if I'm doing more of a recipe process uh, shot but generally everything I need is in here. <laughs>